Chapter 16 Sacrifice Kitab al Dahaya. Chapter 1029 What has been reported regarding the obligation of the sacrifices? Narrated Miknaf ibn Sulaim We were staying with the Messenger of Allah at Arafat. He said, O people, every family must offer a sacrifice and an atira. Do you know what the atira is? It is what you call the Rajab sacrifice. <coughs> Abu David said, Atira has been abrogated, and this tradition is an abrogated one. Great Hassan. Narrated Abdullah ibn Abba. Narrated Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Alas. The Prophet said, I have been commanded to celebrate festival Eid on the day of sacrifice which Allah Most High has appointed for this community. A man said, If I do not find except a she goat or a she camel bor borrowed for milk or other benefits, should I sacrifice it? He said, No, but you should clip your hair and nails, trim your mustaches, and shave your pubes. This is all your sacrifice in the eyes of Allah Most High. Great Daif. Chapter 1030 Sacrificing on behalf of a deceased person. Narrated Hanas. I saw Ali sacrificing two rams, so I asked him. What is this? He replied. The Messenger of Allah enjoined upon me to sacrifice on his behalf, so that is what I am doing. Great Daif. Chapter 1031 A man chipping his hair during the Firat. Ten days of Dul Hijjah while he intends to sacrifice. Narrated Um Salama. The Prophet is saying If anyone has sacrificial animal and intends to sacrifice it and he cites the new moon of Dul Hajjah, he must not take any of his hair and nails until he sacrifices. Abu Dawud said, the name of Amr b Muslim in the chain narrated by Malik and Muhammad b Amr is disputed. Some say that it is Umar and the majority holds that it is Amr. Abu Dawud said, he is Amr b Muslim b Ukema al Laiti al Jundu i Great Hassan Sahih. <coughs> Chapter 1032 What is recommended regarding sacrifices? <coughs> Narrated Aisha The Prophet Sauce ordered a horned ram with black legs, black belly and black round the eyes and it was brought from him to sacrifice. He said, Aisha, get the knife. Then he said, sharpen it with a stone. So I did. He took it, then take the ram, he placed it on the ground and slaughtered it. He then said, in the name of Allah, O Allah, accept it for Muhammad, Muhammad's family and Muhammad's people. Then he sacrificed it. Great Hassan. <coughs> Narrated Anas. The Prophet sacrificed seven camels standing with his own hand and sacrificed at Medina two horned rams which were white with black markings. Great Sahih. <coughs> 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 
narrated on us. The prophet sacrificed two horned rams, which were white with black markings, slaughtered and uttered Allah is most great, and mentioned Allah's name and placed his foot on their sides. Great Sahih. <coughs> narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah. The prophet sacrificed two horned rams, while two horned rams which were white with black markings and had been castrated when he made them face the Qibla. He said, I have turned my face towards him who created the heavens and the earth, following Abraham's religion, the true in faith. And I am not one of the polytheists, my prayer and my service of sacrifice. My life and my death are all for Allah, the Lord of the universe, who has no partner. That is what I have command That is what I was commanded to do. And I am one of the Muslims. O oh Allah, it comes from thee and is given to thee from Muhammad and his people. In the name of Allah, and Allah is most great, he then made sacrifice. Great Daif. Narrated Abu Sa'id al Qudri. The Messenger of Allah used to sacrifice a choice horned ram with black round the eyes, the mouth, and the feet. Great Sahih. Chapter 1033. What is allowed regarding age for the Udhiya sacrifice? Narrated Jabir. Uh, the Messenger of Allah as saying, Sacrifice only a full grown animal unless it is difficult for you, in which case, sacrifice a lamb. Great Daif. Narrated Said ibn Khalid al Jihani. The Messenger of Allah distributed sacrificial animals among his companions. He gave me a kid of less than a year. I took it to him and said, this is a kid, he said, sacrifice it, so I sacrificed it. Great Hassan Sahih. Narrated Asim B. Kuleib, on the authority of his father, we were with a man from the companions of the Prophet. called Mujashi, who belonged to Banu Sulaim. There was a scarcity of goats in those days. He commanded a man to announce among the people. So he announced that the Messenger of Allah used to say, a lamp may be given as full payment for that for which has full grown animal is payment. Great. Abu David said, his name is Mujashi B. Masud, Great Zahih. Narrated Al-Bara bin Asib, the Messenger of Allah delivered a sermon to us on the day of sacrifice after the prayer. He said, if anyone prays like our prayer and sacrifices like our sacrifice, his sacrifice is alright. If anyone sacrifices before the prayer for Eid, that is, that is goat meant for flesh. Abu Burda b. Niyad stood up and said, Messenger of Allah, I swear by Allah, I sacrificed before I went for prayer. I thought it was the day of eating and drinking. So I made haste. 
and ate myself and supplied flesh to my family and neighbors. The messenger of Allah said, that is a goat meant for eating flesh. He said, I have a kid of less than a year, which is better than two goats meant for flesh. Will it be valid from, from me? He said, yes, but it will not be valid for anyone after you. Great Sahih. Narrated Al-Bara ibn Asib A maternal uncle of mine called Abi Burda sacrificed before the prayer for Eid. The Messenger of Allah said, Your goat is meant for flesh. He said, Messenger of Allah, I have a domestic kid with me. He said, Sacrifice it, but it is not valid for any man, af for any man other than you. Great Sahih Chapter 1034 What is this like for Udhiya? Narrated Ubaid ibn Firus I asked Al-Bara ibn Asib What should be avoided in sacrificial animals? He said, the messenger of Allah stood among us And my fingers are smaller than his fingers And my fingertips are smaller than his fingertips He said pointing with his fingers. Four types of animals should be avoided in sacrifice. A one-eyed animal which has obviously lost the, eye, lost the sight of one eye. <coughs> a sick animal which is obviously sick. A lame animal which obviously limps. And an animal with a broken leg with no marrow. I also detest an animal which has defective teeth he said leave what you detest but do not make it illegal for anyone <coughs> Abu Dawood said by a lean animal mean an and animal which has no marrow great Sahih <coughs> narrated Yasid du Misr I came to Utba Ibn Abdus Sulami and said Abul Walid I went out seeking sacrificial animals I did not find anything which attracted me except an animal whose teeth have fallen so I so I abominated it what do you say about it he said why do you not bring it to me he said glory be to Allah it is is it lawful for you and not lawful for me he said yes you doubt and I do not doubt <coughs> the messenger of Allah has forbidden an animal whose ear has been uprooted so much so that its whole appears outward outwardly and an animal whose horn has broken from the root and an animal which has totally lost the sight of its eye and an animal which is so thin and weak that it cannot go with the herd and an animal with a broken leg great daif narrated Ali ibn Abu Talib The Messenger of Allah enjoined upon us to pay great attention to the eye and both ears and not to sacrifice a one-eyed cam a one-eyed animal and an animal with a slit which leaves something hang hanging at the front or back of the ear or with a lengthwise slit with a perf perforation in the ear, I asked Abul Shak, did he mention an a did he mention an animal with broken horns and uprooted ears? He said no. I said, what is the mukabala? He replied, it has been cut from the back of its ear. I said, what about the sharka? He replied, the ear have been split. The ear has been the, the ear has been split I said <coughs> uh, 
What about the karka? He replied, a hole is made in its ears as a distinguishing mark. <coughs> Narrated Ali ibn Abu Talib. The Prophet prohibited to sacrifice an animal with a slit ear and broken horn. Abu Dawud said, the narrator Jurai bi Kuleib is Sadusi and belongs to Basra. No one narrated traditions from him except Katada. <coughs> Great Daif narrated Katada. I asked Said B al Musayab what is meant by animal with a slit ear and broken horn. He replied, half and more than half. Chapter 1035 How many people can share a cow and a camel? Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah. We performed tamatu during the lifetime of the Messenger of Allah, sacrificed a cow for seven and a camel for seven people. We shared them. Great Sahih. Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah. The Prophet said, a cow serves for seven and a camel serves for seven. Great Sahih. <coughs> Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah. We sacrificed along with the Messenger of Allah at Al Hudaybiyah a camel for seven and a cow for seven people. Great Sahih. Chapter 1036. A sheep sacrifice for a group of people. Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah. I witnessed sacrificing along with the Messenger of Allah at the place of prayer. When he finished his sermon, he descended from his pulpit and a ram was brought to him. The Messenger of Allah slaughtered it with his hand and said, In the name of Allah, Allah is most great. This is from me and from those who did not sacrifice from my community. Great Sahih. <coughs> Chapter 1037 The Imam slaughtering at the Musalla. Narrated Ibn Umar. The Prophet used to slaughter his sacrificial animal at the place of prayer. Ibn Umar used to do so. Chapter 1038 Storing the meat of the sacrifice Narrated Aisha Some people of desert came at the time of sacrifice in the time of Apostle of Allah. The Messenger of Allah said store up for three days and give the rest as Sadaka alms. After then, the people said to the Messenger of Allah, <coughs> Messenger of Allah, the people used to benefit from their sacrifices. Take and dissolve fat from them and make water bags from their skins. The Messenger of Allah said, What is that? Or whatever he said. They said, Messenger of Allah, you have prohibited to preserve the meat of sacrifice after three days. The Messenger of Allah said, I prohibited you due to a body of people who came to you. Now eat, give it as sadaqa, alms, and store up. Great Sahih. Narrated Nubaysa, Nubaysa, the Prophet said, We forbade you to eat their meat, 
for more than three days in order that you might have abundance. Now Allah has produced abundance so you may eat, store up and seek reward. Beware, these days are days of eating, drinking and remembrance of Allah Most High. Great Sahih. Chapter 1039 Regarding a traveler slaughtering Narrated Tavban The Messenger of Allah sacrificed during a journey and then said Tavban mend, mend the meat of this goat. I then kept on supplying its meat until we reached Medina. Great Sahih. <coughs> Chapter 1040 Regarding the prohibition of the animals being confined to be shot at and being gentle with animal to be slaughtered. Narrated Shadad be Avs there are two characteristics that I heard the Messenger of Allah say. Allah has decreed that everything should be done in a good way. So when you kill, use a good method. method. The version of the narrators other than Muslim says, So kill in a good manner. And when you slaughter, you should use a good method, for one of you should sharpen his knife and give the animal as little pain as possible. Great Sahih. Narrated Hisham B. Said, I entered upon Al Hakam B. Ayyub along with Anas. He saw some youths or boys who had set up a hen and shooting at it. Anas said, the Messenger of Allah forbade to kill an animal in confinement. Great Sahih. Chapter 1041 Chapter 1041 Regarding the animals slaughtering uh, Regarding the animals slaughtered by the people of the book People of book Narrated Ibn Abbas the verse, so eat of meats, on which Allah's name hath been pronounced, and the verse, eat not of meats, on which Allah's name hath not been pronounced, were abrogated, meaning an exception was made therein. By the verse, the food of the people of the book is lawful unto you, and yours is lawful unto them. Great Hassan. <coughs> Narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. Explaining the verse, but the evil ones ever inspire their friend to contend with you. They used to say, do not eat which Allah killed, but eat which you slaughtered. So Allah revealed the verse, eat not of meats on which Allah's name had not been pronounced to the end of the verse. Great Sahih. Narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas The Jews came to the Prophet and said We eat which we kill But we do not eat which Allah kills So Allah revealed Eat not of meats on which Allah's name had not been pronounced To the end of the verse Chapter 1042 What has been reported about eating the Muakara of the Bedouins, narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Messenger of Allah forbade to eat the meat of animals slaughtered by the Bedouins for vainglory and pride. Abu Dawud said, The narrator Gundar narrated this tradition as a saying of Ibn Abbas and not of the Prophet, great Hassan Sahih. Chapter 1043 Slaughtering with Marva Narrated Rafi B. Khadij I came to the Messenger of Allah and said Messenger of Allah, we shall meet the enemy tomorrow and we have no knives with us May we kill with a sharp-edged white stone flint 
and with splinter or and with splinter of a staff the messenger of Allah said hasten in slaughtering it when Allah's name is mentioned you may eat what is killed by anything which causes the blood to flow except tooth and claw I shall tell you about it the tooth is a bone and the claw is the knife of Abyssinians some people hastened and went forward they made haste and got booty while the messenger of Allah was in their rear and they set up cooking pots the messenger of Allah passed by over the cooking pots he ordered to turn them over he then divided the spoils of war between them and gave them a camel for ten goats in equation for ten goats in equation one of the camels of the people ran away and they had no horses with them at that at that time a man shot an arrow at it and Allah prevented it from escaping the Prophet said among animals ia yeah, camels there are some which bolt like wild animals so when any of them does so do with it like this great sahih narrated muhammad ibn safwan or safwan ibn muhammad i hunted two hares and slaughtered them with a flint I asked the messenger of Allah about them. He permitted me to eat them. Great Sahih. Narrated Atta ibn Yasar. A man of Banu Hadith was pasturing a pregnant she-camel in one of the ravines of Uhud. He saw that it was about to die. He could find nothing to slaughter it. He took a stake and stabbed it in the upper part of its breast until he made its blood flow. He then came to the Prophet and informed him about that and he ordered him to eat it. Great Sahih. Narrated Adi ibn Hatim. I said, Messenger of Allah, tell me when one of us catches game and has no knife may he slaughter with a flint and a splinter of stick he said cause the blood to flow with whatever you like and mention Allah's name great Sahih chapter 1044 regarding slaughtering the Muta Radia narrated Abul Ushara Abul Ushara reported on the authority of his father he asked messenger of Allah is the slaughtering to be done only in the upper part of the breast and the throat the messenger of Allah replied if you pierced its thigh it would serve you Abu Dawud said this is the way suitable for slaughtering an animal which has fallen into a well or runs loose. Great Munkar Chapter 1045 Chapter 1045 Regarding ex ex exag exaggeration when slaughtering Narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas Ibn Isa added, Ibn Abbas and Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah forbade the devil's sacrifice. Abulsa added in his version, This refers to the slaughtered animal whose skin cut off and is then left to die without its jugular veins being severed. Great Daif. Chapter 1046 Regarding Slaughtering the Fetus Narrated Abu Sayyid al Qudri. I asked the Messenger of Allah about the embryo, he replied. 
eat it if you wish. Musadad's version says, We said, Messenger of Allah, we slaughter a she-camel, a cow and a sheep, and we find an embryo in its womb. <coughs> Shall we throw it away or eat it? He replied, Eat it if you wish, for the slaughter of its mother serves its slaughter, great Sahih. Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah, the Prophet said, The slaughter of embryo is included when its mother is slaughtered, great Sahih. Chapter 1047 What has been reported about eating meat while not knowing whether the name of Allah was mentioned upon it or not? Narrated Aisha The, narrated Musa, the narrator Musa did not mention, did not mention the words of, from Aisha in his version from Hamad and al Kanabi also did not mention the word from Aisha. In his version from Malik, they the people said, Messenger of Allah, there are people here, recent conver converts from polytheism, who bring us meat, and we do not know whether or not they mentioned Allah's name over it. The Messenger of Allah said, Mention Allah's name and eat. Great Sahih. Chapter 1048 Regarding Al Atira. Narrated Nubaysha. A man called the Messenger of Allah. We used to sacrifice Atira in pre Islamic days during Rajab. So what do you command us? He said, sacrifice for the sake of Allah in any month, whatever. Obey Allah most high and feed the people. He said, we used to sacrifice Afara in pre-Islamic days. So what do you command us? He said, on every pastoring animal, there is a fada which is led which is fed by your cattle till it becomes strong and capable of carrying load the narrator Nasser said in his version when it becomes capable of carrying load of the pilgrims you may slaughter it and give its meat as charity sadaka the narrator Khalid's version says, You may give it to the travelers, for it is better. Khalid said, I asked Abu Kilaba how many pasturing animals. He replied, 100. Great Sahih. <coughs> Narrated Abu Hureyda. Prophet saw saying, There is no Fada and Atira. Great Sahih. Narrated Said, Fada was the first animal born to them, the Arabs, which they sac which they sacrificed. Great Sahih Maktu. <coughs> Narrated Aisha, the Messenger of Allah used to sacrifice goat out of every fifty goats. Abu David said, Fada means the first baby camel born to the Arabs. They used to sacrifice it for their idols and then eat it. And its skin was thrown on a tree. Atira was a sacrifice made during the first 10 days of Rajab. Great Sahih. <coughs> Chapter 1049 The, Akik the Akika. Narrated Um Kurs al Kabiya. I heard the Messenger of Allah say, 
Two resembling sheep are to be sacrificed for a boy and one for a girl. Abu Dawood said, I heard Ahmad ibn Hanbal say, the Arabic word mukka fi tani means equal in age or resembling each other. Great Sahih. Great Sahih. Narrated Um Kurs. I heard a prophet, may peace, nay peace be upon him, say, let the birds stay in their root, uh, in their roosts. She said, I also heard him say, two sheep are to be sacrificed for a boy and one for a girl, but it does, but it does you no harm whether they are male or female. Great Sahih. Narrated um Kurs. The Messenger of Allah said, Two sheep which resemble each other are to be sacrificed for a boy and one for a girl. Abu Dawood said, This is a sound tradition, and the tradition narrated by Sufyan is misunderstanding. Great Sahih. Narrated Samura ibn Jindib. The Prophet said, A boy is in pledge for his akika. Sacrifice is made for him on the seventh day. His head is shaved and is smeared with blood. When Katada was asked about smearing with blood, how that should be done? He said, When you cut the head, ye throat, of the animal meant for akika you may take a few hair of it place them on its veins and then place them in the middle of the head of the infant so that the blood flows on the hair of the infant like a fret then its head may be washed and shaved off Abu Dawood said in the Abu Dawood said in narrating the word is smeared with blood Yudama there is a misunderstanding on the part of Hamam Abu Dawood said Hamam has been opposed in narrating the words is smeared with blood this is misunderstanding of Hamam they narrated he word he is given he's given a name Yusama and Hamam narrated it is smeared with blood Yudama Abu Dawood said this tradition is not followed <sighs> narrated Samura ibn Jindub the prophet said a boy is in pledge for his Akika sacrifice is made for him on the seventh day his head is shaved and he is given name Abu Dawood said the word va yusama is sounder as narrated by Salam bi Abi Muti from Katada and narrated by Lias bi Dag Dagfal and Ashat from Al Hassan who narrated Wa Yusama and he is given a name. Great Sahih Narrated Salman B. Amir al Dabi. The Messenger of Allah as saying, along with a boy, there is an Akika. So shed blood on his behalf and remove injury from him. Great Sahih. Narrated Al Hassan. To remove the injury is the shaving of the head. Great Sahih Maktu. Narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas. The Messenger of Allah sacrificed a ram for both Al Hassan and Al Hussein. Each Allah be pleased with them. Narrated Ahmed bi Suhaib. 
on his father's authority said that his grandfather that the messenger of Allah was asked about the Akika he replied Allah does not like the breaking of lies and the breaking of ties Ukuk as though he disliked the name and he said if anyone has a child born to him and wishes to offer a sacrifice on its behalf he may offer two resembling sheep for a boy and one for a girl and he was asked about fara he replied fara is right if you leave it yet yeah, let it grow till it becomes a healthy camel of one year or two years then you give it to a widow or give it in the path of Allah for using it as a riding beast it is better than slaughtering it at the age when its meat is stuck to its hair and you turn over your milking vessel and annoy your she camel great Hassan Great Hassan narrated Bureda ibn al Hasib when a boy was born to one of us in the pre-islamic period we sacrificed a sheep and smeared his head with its blood but when Allah brought Islam we sacrificed a sheep shaved his head and smeared his head with Safrun. great Hassan Sahih 